How do, I, how do I intend to position the city for economic recovery? As Chair of Economic Development and Tourism, I think it's very, very important that we diversify the economy. We don't just rely on tourism anymore, that we look at building uh, the economy by building such things as our health sector, education sector, our marine sector. Our tourism infrastructure needs to be diversified. We need to put in the dive, uh, the dive attraction, which we're doing some studies on at the moment. We need to consider what we have here as a city geographically and how we can benefit that for the rest of, for the, rest of the population. My vision is to make this city the most livable city in the world. So in five to ten years' time, I want us to get that award. No other uh, city in Australia of this size has ever been named the most livable city. And for, as you know, Melbourne has got that. But this city can do it. This city can do it by creating jobs, by creating an opportunity for everybody to, uh, to enjoy their, their, their lives here. We want to make sure, as the first port of call, I'll be turning business Gold Coast on its head and I'll be uh, asking a, a representative of every chamber of commerce and six heads of the industry from fields such as property, tourism and education. Our chambers of commerce are at the coal base of business across our city and I believe that they are the valuable resource that we've kept at arm's length. We need them there to enact real change. As Mayor, I will undertake an extensive review of all council charges and fees that businesses incur during establishment and on an ongoing basis. We need to start looking at incentives rather than disincentives. Furthermore, I'll work to create a better, more cost-effective cost -effective development approval process, as well as looking at current zoning restrictions, some of which are creating unnecessary roadblocks for economic development. To help businesses go about their day-to-day -day operations more easily and efficiently, I propose having a direct connection to the high-speed underwater data cable that runs from Guam and Sydney. This cable, which allows information to be delivered from around the world, could help attract more IT businesses to the Gold Coast, helping us to create our own Silicon Valley, which I'd like to see in the north of the city. However, in addition to, to focusing on diversifying, we need to focus on our historical strength to ensure a strong economy. The Gold Coast saw a 9% drop in international visitor numbers and an 11% drop in domestic visitors in the last financial year. For a city that's built on tourism, these figures are the reason enough for operators and workers in the industry to be concerned. I believe we can diversify our tourism. We need to grow our business and convention market. We need to attract more Chinese visitors, as a, opposed to what the, the chairman said, I think it's important that we get these wealthy Chinese investors to the city interested in pouring money into our property and businesses. And I believe we need, need to look seriously at fostering opportunities like this in the future. So uh, I don't know if that was my three minutes up, is it? Uh, I'm sorry about that. It's, I hate rushing through these things, but it's very important that you know that I do have a vision. And please look it up on my website, www.susiedoglas.com.au. Thank you.